What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another Zendikar Rising draft. Hopefully, we can, uh, you know, do do better than we've been previously. <clears throat> stay safe. I'm Australian. Are you saying that because you're Australian, you don't know how to stay safe, or that because you're Australian, you're safer than most other countries right now? I'm gonna take Mall. Hey everyone, we're drafting and not playing elves. I'm gonna take Maul, this is not remotely close. This card is great. What if there's equipment that you could give your guys flying? We're safe because we're used to danger. Checks out. Plus, we adhere to scientists' advice. Must be nice. <clears throat> Must be nice. I gotta blow my nose. Hold on a second. Okay, we did that. What does this guy do? 3-3 three, three for 3. Whenever uh, you attack a player with one or more equipped creatures, draw a card. And our first pick was Maul. Yeah, we're probably going to take that. I mean, the only creature in our color that we'd take otherwise is Tazim Raptor. And, like, if we can pick up more equipment... That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Oh no! I, yeah, I always hide the camera. It's uh, it's my benefit as well as yours. I don't. You guys don't need to see me blowing my nose. Oh, Linvala. Oh boy, I just double clicked. I clicked the uh, the left and right mouse buttons like we're playing Magic Online. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Linvala because again, there's no commitment to to red here. God, how do I always end up in these three color decks, man? I'm, just, I'm really terrible at that. <clears throat> Oh, what up, Tsunami? I'll never show you how I blow my nose. It's my secret. Two, three, three, uh, two color rares for three. <clears throat> What's your take so far on the new commander product? I don't really have a take because I'm not a commander player, so I have no real interest. Um, I, I don't really have the experience or the knowledge to like gauge the product. I can't be like, oh, this is really strong. This is really good commander set. I like, I have no idea, you know. So it's like I just don't have an opinion. I hope people enjoy it. That's my opinion. Expedition Diviner could be good, or <clears throat> Pyroclastic Hellion is also fine. Dumpster Fire, you say? No, no. No, no. Um, what about as a draft set? I'm not even really looking at it as a draft set. like Because I don't even know if it's going to be... If it's not on Magic Online or MTG Arena, which I'm not sure it will be, um, I just don't concern myself with it because it's COVID. <sighs> Take this guy. It does seem like we are air drafting, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Nope. I don't care about any of these. Maybe it's only enough because of Akiri. We could also take Drawry Disruption and just play it as a way to cast Linvala. <clears throat> Expedition Champ is fine. Um, this guy is a warrior. Alright, let's put that aside for a second. We'll take the Champ. And then we see literal nothing. Alright, utility knife it is. Hmm. If 
Four three for four. If you kick it, it's hasty. It's kind of meh. <coughs> Meanwhile, I have a glacial grasp, which is a nice blue card. The French for walkie-talkie is la talkie walkie. Is that true? Are these real facts? Oh, Tizim Raptor seems good. <clears throat> well, we're just going to take <clears throat> Kite Sail. <clears throat> I wish my throat wasn't as scratchy as it is right now. Second Tizim Raptor seems just fine. Second fact, medieval times, rent on the Isle of Skilly was payable in puffins. Last fact, Japanese department stores play all blanks in to tell shoppers it's closing time. <clears throat> That's interesting. According to Google, it actually is true. Wow. I feel like once Badger gives a factor of the day that is not a fact, it ruins his factor of the day reputation. And I don't think you'd want to do that. Uh, one, two. Just take Molten, I guess. Watch out for those spooky, scary skeletons. Don't tell me what to do. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> See, and this is how this is how you get messed up. I'm fully recovered now. I'm gonna take it. I can't. I can't. I can't not. <clears throat> huh. Huh. And then you're like, but how do we cast this? And I'm like, well, we kick Skyclave Relic, obviously. I don't think Jewel Lotus is nearly as b broken as people are saying it's, or, or people are, are, are afraid it's gonna be. <clears throat> What am I doing for Halloween? Nothing, because it's COVID. So I'm going to stay in my house and maybe stream something. Uh, I am not voting <clears throat> on Halloween. But I did, however, get my ballot. So. Technically, if you, if you define the act of voting as filling out my ballot, maybe I will be voting on Halloween. Mmm, rocky road. <clears throat> huh. 
Okay. Thundering Rebuke is very good. <clears throat> Probably the correct play. Might get a spoopy stream. You gonna wear your pepper hat? <laughs> oh boy. T Bombadil, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> You know, it's funny, Skyclave Relic kicked and cast Omnath by itself. I mean, assuming we have uh, one land of, of a color. <clears throat> Jesus, Linvala and Omnath. Is this... Okay, we're everything but black, but we're also just white red. We're splashing a green and a red, or a green and a blue. Oh boy! Like there's nothing great in this pack for us. We can take tormenting voice just to draw two. We can discard on that if it's not great for us in our hand. <sighs> Is spare supplies just better? It's probably just better, right? It's gotta be better than Tormenting Voice, right? It's just you draw two without having to discard. Spikefield Hazard seems just fine. Well, Royal Eruption seems great. On this day in 1868, standard uniform approved for U.S. postal carriers. That's pretty wild. On this day in 1541, Michelangelo Bonarotti finishes painting The Last Judgment in the Sistine Chapel, Vatican City. Sistine Chapel. <clears throat> oh, attended healer. And the problem is we just don't have many ways to gain life in this deck. This is not a life-gaining deck. That being said, the card is still probably better than, like, Scorch Rider or like Mesa Lynx. Especially if we have Omnath, like if we can go at 10 and healer and Omnath gain four. Two, three for three. Whenever it's coming out, just play X other type card to let me play that card. Yeah, that's actually just fine. <clears throat> oh my god, Spoils of Adventure came back? What? Uh, I mean, we're definitely taking this. At worst, we're splashing for blue. At best, we're splashing for Omnath. Wow, that card's great. Synchronized Spellcraft is just fine. Expedition Healer also not terrible. I'm going to take the 5-mana removal spell because we actually don't have a ton of removal. Or a ton of 5 drops, so... <clears throat> wow, 
Well, I will be here, my dude. Um, sure, I'll take Molten Blast number two. Sizzling. Sure. Arc Priest of Iona. Um, Thundering Rebuke number two seems pretty good. It's got to be the best card, right? Yeah, that just seems great. <clears throat> now we have Royal Thundering Rebuke. Thundering Rebuke. Thundering Rebuke. That's a, that's a sentence I said. Come play Among Us. You can do it on your stream. I probably could. I probably could. Matthew, the reason we didn't play with you guys is only because you guys started at 8 Eastern, which is actually 6 for us. Which is a little trickier. Because it's literally like just when Katie's walking in the door. Um, I kind of like just Pathway here. I mean, it lets us play a different color, right? Like, it lets us add, um, like, a blue. Eh. Calling the Ambush is actually fine. Especially because we can play it early, and then we have two Tazim Raptors to, like, <clears throat> make it a thing. I don't think it's Pressure Point. Base Camp would be fine, but unfortunately Omnath is none of those classes. Into the Royal is double blue for the part we want. We'll just take ambush because it's the land. More like land bush, am I right? I'm just gonna take this guy actually because we just want some two drops here. Low mages from Ogre's Keep, we are not a kicker deck. And blue and green are both of our splashes, so the likelihood of us having both of those colors is extremely low. Nahiri's binding is pretty good. How many creatures do we have so far? Only 10. One of them is an Omnath. Low Mage is Domination. God, triple blue though. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is just another Expedition Healer. Especially because we have a Tendon Healer. So once we give this guy lifelink and start attacking, we can make some cats. Hmm. Single green for this guy. This is a wizard. We have one six drop. I'll just take the Kazandu Stomper here. Um, I actually haven't listened to music in quite some time, to be honest with you. That's kind of funny. I didn't even, I haven't even considered that. It's mostly because I don't drive. Like, I don't have to drive to work, and I don't have any place that I'm really regularly driving to. So, like, my opportunities to listen to music like in the in the times that most people would is significantly lessened i mean i do listen to music around the house but i'm not listening to any particular album i'll just throw on like an 80s playlist or something or like if i have a, a random song stuck in my head i'll play that What do we got? One, two, three. Three dual face cards? It's not bad. Puts us 25. The last concert I went to? Probably like. Probably Jawbreaker in like 2019. Uh, none of these cards are exciting. I'll just take another spare supplies, I guess. Our removal is great, though. Jeez. Royal Eruption, Two Thundering Rebuke, Nihiri's Binding. Yeah, we're definitely, like, playing Omnath here. And one Muck Lord. Okay, so what are we taking out? We're taking out the Muck Lord for sure. Your thing. Both of you are good. You're good. A 
really don't care about spare supplies. So this is 43. We also have Ambush, Skyclave Cleric, and Spike Field Hazard. And how many creatures? This is 14 creatures? That went up. I think we can cut the Grow Tag Runner. And just play 19 lands, perhaps? I also don't love Utility Knife. I think three is fine because we have three blue cards. Uh, four green seems a bit much because Colony Ambush is a land. And we literally only have two green cards. So I would say three green total. And then we have 13 and nine in terms of white and this is 15 lands. We're going to go to 16 lands and three of these. So we still have another one of these. And another one of these. So that makes them even. Hmm. So this is seven white sources and six blue, so six red sources right now. I think we just want a seventh red source. people ever heard of So this is actually f 5, 6, 7, 8, 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 lands. That seems good. And Skyclave Relic lets us fix. Hellion, Kazandu Stomper, and Tazim Raptor let us bounce any of these that we want to replay. All right. I mean, I like the way the deck looks. Mm. I'm not going to be trick-or-treating, and I might actually play some spooky games. kind of like this because we have like seven red sources. I'll keep this. I am going to start with this guy faced. Eh, depends on what we draw, I guess. Okay, now I'm actually going to hold on to it. That seems good. All right, we are one green away. And this is also a cleric and a warrior. Oh yeah, this is... This costs four, so we can just play it next turn. Wow, that's really good. You're gonna kill that guy? Don't do it. Is it you reading it? We did not finish Luigi's Mansion. I think Katie just lost interest. 
Okay, you got it. Let me draw Maul of the Skyclaves. Oh, you don't want to let me draw that? I understand. I think we're just going to kill this guy and keep getting in there, right? Uh, party mechanic is fine. I mean, it, it incentivizes you. It's it's. I don't think it has anything to do with with winning more really. Because like, if you if you actually focus on it too much, like your synergies in your deck are just not as good. I'm just gonna keep this and spellcraft up. What if we draw forest, Omnath? Wouldn't that be funny? What do we got here? Oh, that's good to know. On to inversion. That's a yikes for me, dog. So, like, because I'm playing party mechanics, like, because I have a, a cleric and a warrior, like, these two have no synergy together, right? Like, there's a, there's a bunch of good synergy. There's a bunch of good cleric synergy. There's a bunch of good warrior synergy. But, like, because you're not being rewarded for playing the same creature types... Uh, it's almost like your benefit to playing party is be it, like you're getting it because you're like sacrificing synergy in these other areas. Is it going back to your hand? Sounds good. Eight mana, huh? Okay. What do we got here? Seven mana, and I have six. Six five is pretty big. This deals any target? Interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Rabid Bite. Yep. Unfortunate. Do I want to spellcraft this guy now? Probably. It's just... Both of these do four damage. So I'd rather spend the five mana to do four. Eh, that is a green. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go to thirteen. Give me an Omnath so I can play Omnath, play a land. Nailed it. Zondu Stomper gets to return colony territory to our hand. Unfortunately, we don't have a second green to cast it. <sighs> okay, okay. Well, I drew a card and I gained four. 
Oh, now this guy flies. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can we can royal for five, and this is six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is nine actually. So I think it is Stomper. This is nine mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. We could just choose not to return anything. Or we can actually return this next turn. Eh. The problem is without a green, it just doesn't do anything. But this is our only other green card. So we don't need green for anything else. Well, I'm just going to play my guy and try to roll their face next turn. They only have three, four, five, six. We know about this, and they have one other card. So, like, even if they attack with this and we attack with this guy, they take two. So we're just going to roll their face next turn and kill them. I think that's all. I think dealing five to their dome. <laughs> Plus, if we draw a green source, we get to play the colony territory. Yeah, that seems better. I mean, this is six damage, and they have two cards in hand. Yeah, like, I'm just going to try to win the game. Yeah, and they have one card. How do I actually send bits on here? <laughs> uh, you know, I don't actually know the process, ironically. Fascinating. See, now I might do it. So this guy doesn't fly, so they can block here, take six, and they're dead. If they block here, they take one, two, three, and then they block here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they're just dead, right? Wasn't a goddamn no, no. mm -hmm. Okay, so you're taking two. If I practice on this guy, it deals two. So you're taking four. This guy's trample, right? Okay. I think our deck is sweet. We didn't we didn't draw Maul, we didn't draw Nahiri's binding, we didn't draw Linvala.
Oh, snap keep. You take care of something on two, Linvala on three. Did they let me play first? It seems good. I'm trying to draw a pathway. That's my guess. Okay. I lied. Not gonna royal eruption that guy. Oh, Tigernate, one week, one week, one week vacation means I won't be at work when you stream. That seems good, though. Unless that means you're not going to pay attention anymore. Because I'm just a distraction from the work. Everybody's working for the weekend. My turn? Okie dokie. Uh, none of these are instants, unfortunately, so... Okay. Satisfying. Von Veek. <laughs> that is spoopy, you're right. My turn. I kind of want to kick this, but we actually don't need to because we actually have all our colors right now. Okay, it's two for one. That's just fine. Come round here. Wait, give me Sky Sky Mall. Got planes, huh? Well, that's not a Sky Mall. Winter, spring, summer, a mall. All you got to do is call. And I'll be there, yes I will. They have five mana, six mana with this planes. So their hand has to be like planes, planes, undo inversion. For us to worry about that. And there's a green. And Royal Eruption is going to take one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, we have seven. So Royal Eruption is going to take care of something next turn. Winter, spring, summer, fall. All you got to do is call. You know who this is? This is James Taylor. It's a little song called You Got a Friend. Everybody in chat right now, you got a friend. You got a friend in me. No, that's... Oh, what's his name? God, I can't think of his name. It's 
a Zeme Raptor, huh? It's definitely not. It's not more. Definitely not Morgan Freeman. Gordon Freeman. I can't think of his name. Huh, it's funny because that's what I was expecting them to play. And then we just do this jobby to the face. Two games in a row, we get to Royal Eruption their face. You're welcome. I like to I like to spread my brain worms when possible. All right. Let's keep it going. Thank you. Savage Gopher, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it. Welcome back. After you utterly crushed that round. And I'll be there, yes I will. You got a friend. I'm gonna keep this because it's still just good enough. Like, I mean, Maul and Raptor seems fine. We do need a, like, give me a blue or like a red or like both, you know, and that's totally cool. Okay, well now I'm feeling stupid. Give me land. Give me fuel, give me fire, give me that which I desire. Cool. I love it. Love it. <sighs> what kind of draft would it be if our deck that's really, really sweet uh, didn't lose to Mana Screw at least one, one round? So... <laughs> yep. Hey, look at that. Like a menace, haste. Can't be blocking creature tower two or less. <laughs> so next time you play Raptor, we play planes. Play this for zero. That's something. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's four colors or not when we can't hit a third land. Like, the, the amount of colors has literally nothing to do with how many lands we draw. Like, this is a white, 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 white card. I, I mean, like, a third land. Play, let's just play any of these. Like, it has nothing to do with the amount of colors. Now, like we're just completely on the back foot and missed another land drop. We've missed two land drops so far, so. Deck is also definitely not a pile. Like it's, I mean, a, I, I consider a pile anything that's like not good. Like this is a pile of cards that has nothing, nothing going for it. This, I, I think this deck is definitely pretty solid. So the point is, Tsunami, I take issue with the entire statement. All right. <laughs> yeah, I was just joshing. No, it's not even you. I'm just mad at the situation. I'm just mad at, like, missing two land drops and, like, having it define the game is just super infuriating. All you've got to do is call. And I'll be there, yes I will. Sorry for spamming chat and not paying attention to the game bits. I have lots of whiskey and no friends around. Hey buddy, it's totally fine. 
Six five is big. Yep, that's a good one. I'm just gonna go to the next game. We just can't stop all of this. Even if we play Hellion, like I don't want to return a land. Can't block six five. Yeah, I just want to hit lands, and I really don't think it's that difficult, or it shouldn't be. kidding me oh god every si every single color do i like mulligan it and hope that i'm hitting colors or do i keep it Mike, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I mean, I'm, I'm like literally crossing my fingers that we draw things that are not lands. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. Seems good. Yeah, I don't actually care about that guy terribly. I'm just going to play lands that would allow me to play Omnath in case we draw Omnath next turn. That's your turn. Winter, spring, summer, fall. No, you've got to do this call. Man, these guys are big. So I have one card in hand, they have four essentially. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, and nine. <laughs> Guys, I drew a card that puts a land back in my hand. So, I mean, like, sometimes it's just even hard to be mad. Like, you're just like, wow, this is actually fucking amazing. Like, I'm just more amazed at the, uh, the sheer... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine to... I've drawn four spell, five, th four spells and nine lands. Get mana screwed twice in a row. It's almost like it's not possible to win that way.
Literally no benefit to keeping land in hand. Oh, then they just steal this guy and kill us. Probably. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, we're just dead. It's like, why didn't that trigger those things? But you know what's funny, guys? We actually didn't have anything else to do. Yep, cool. So you know we block here, we take four, five, six, seven, we go to one, and we block here. And now we get to go to one and keep only our four or five. Why didn't they attack with this guy? I don't understand why they're... I love it. <laughs> love it. Oh, fucking island. Sick. Fucking amazing. Fix your trash program, wizards, please. It's absolutely horrendous. Uh, Vintage Cube should be back next week, thank God. It's unbelievable. The funny thing is there's only 16 actual land cards in the deck. Three of them are spells. So it's like, I drew nine of the 16 lands in the deck. God. We also have 18 minutes left in the stream raiders battle, so make sure you guys are putting your guys on the field. I mean, I hate being salty and I hate like getting upset about it, but it's fucking annoying. Like, it's super annoying to have so many of your games decided by variants. Like, I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> Don't have me get mana screwed one game and mana flooded the next. I don't know. Maybe 19, 19 lands and 16 actual only lands. Seems like a good amount to not get flooded or screwed. But I guess I'm just an idiot. So... I mean, I'd love to be like, well, it's, maybe it's because I'm playing three colors, four colors, but it's not. Right? Like, it has nothing to do with why I would draw so many lands. It has nothing to do with why I would draw so few lands. So, I do apologize for getting frustrated, guys. But it's pretty annoying. So just playing the same fucking deck again? Cool. Um, I, yeah, I, I, they're letting me, they're letting me play practice tactics, but little do they know, it does absolutely nothing, so. <laughs> Joke's on them. Would you like to play this? No, nah, man, I'm good. Yep, nope, no blocks again. I'll just take take five. Okie dokie. Would you like to kick this? No, because that doesn't do anything. And next I'm going to play four or five, which is good, but that just assumes we're not taking eight here. Literally the exact same deck. We're just playing the same fucking deck. Let me just put another land into play. You didn't have another land? Two for one me. Nope, not some not returning land here. Oh now you have a land. That's weird. Did they, why didn't they put one in the play last turn? Did they just draw it? Sure.
Oh, they just passed. Like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can cast this, right? Yeah, that seems good. I'm just going to pass. One, two. How much does it cost? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no attacks. I just hope you don't have a land. Just don't have a land. I mean, because this has got to be better than Raptor. <laughs> sure. That guy in the land? No land. All right. Well, so I'm just going to play this guy because next turn we can play Spellcraft and Raptor. This is how we recover at nine. I don't know. Maybe. Yep, there it is. I'm pretty sure if you just alpha here, we're probably in terrible shape. But I will accept. I mean, this guy you can actually pump twice, which puts it as this is a five three. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't attack with everything, but yep. So every every match we're just playing Kazandu Stomper. Uh, first turn landfall guy, second turn landfall guy into Kazandu Stomper return Song Mad Treachery. That's just every game we're playing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're just gonna play both of these, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Not sure how we beat that. <sighs> Sorry, guys. Just getting... I mean, like, I, I both really like this draft format, and I'm also getting really tired of the MTG Arena variants that's, like, not even... uncommon. I don't understand these attacks. What is this? Why wouldn't you just play your land, trigger, trigger, steal one of my guys? I don't understand anything that's going on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine again. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine to nine. At least it's even this time. At least it's nine to nine. So next turn, they just play land, steal this guy for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we'd have a raptor to maybe block. Yeah, let's do that. That seems completely legit. Ah. <sighs> Maybe this is just the deck to play. You just take all the stupid red-green idiots that cost four or less. Because, I mean, we have a Stomper in our deck. We have three three modal dual-faced lands that we could bounce. But, uh... Not, not seeing them here. Four, five, six, seven. Yep. Go to two, I guess. <laughs> it's, 
Oh god, well we're at two and both of these are two, so I guess we can kill this guy and then die. Oh god. I actually think this guy's probably fine to board in. Take a raptor out for a legac. And we'll just play 41 because YOLO. Oh, that's a great trade. Jeez. Well, that's a stomper. <laughs> oh, biscuits. I mean, with nothing to play here. I feel like our decks are always very ambitious and then we just never get there. I mean, to be fair, our second round was solely decided on Mana Flood and Mana Screw and I'm not gonna really, uh... <laughs> so this guy becomes a 6-5, so we can 2 for 1 us. And just hope they don't have a third. I guess we could just take it too. Sure. Okay, see, this is our fault. This is the first time I can be like, okay, well, our mana base is too ambitious, so. Yeah. Another classic one, too. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Hopefully we find a format we enjoy before I blow my fucking brains out. Be sure to check out manatraders.com. They have a great subscription service. Be sure to check out nordvpn.org. They have a great VPN and internet security solution. If you guys are looking for that, you can find the links for both of those down below. And I'll see you next time.